Hi all, today we are going to discuss about potentiometer method for measurement of low resistance. So in this method, the unknown resistance is compared with the standard resistance of the same order of magnitude. So in this method, the connection, basic connection diagram will be like this. There will be a variable resistor which is used for varying the current that is passing through our standard resistor. So this will have the series combination of standard resistor one standard resistor will be used in series with the unknown resistance that will be connected to your supply source. So here this supply source should be selected like that. This will have low voltage and high current source. So the reason for going for the low voltage is because the value of the unknown resistance is less than 1 ohm, the resistance is very less. So in order to pass the required current, we need not go for very high value of the voltage. Low voltage is sufficient, but the current should be very high such that whenever the current is passing through this unknown value of the resistance, the voltage drop across this resistance, that means this Vx and Vs will be of the order of 1 ohm. That means this Vx and Vs should be of the order of 1 volt so that they can be easily measured by a standard potentiometer because potentiometer can measure around this voltage easily so that's why around 1 volt should come across this Vs and Vx here where this S is the standard resistor of same order as unknown resistor this is the first condition and second one the current rating should be greater than or equal to the current rating of x the current rating of the standard resistor should be greater than or equal to current rating of x so that it will not get damaged it will not get damaged so here this x is the unknown resistor this is the value of unknown resistor. So now this variable resistor is used for varying the value of the total resistance such that the current will pass in such a way the voltage will be voltage drop across both these things will be of the order of about 1 volt. Voltage drop will be about 1 volt. So for that purpose one variable resistor will be used. I hope the basic circuit is clear to you and what is potentiometer how it will measure. So this thing we are going to discuss in the next chapter. So here I am briefly telling what is potentiometer. Potentiometer is basically a null type detection technique. So it will detect the null measurement. It will compare against some standard voltage source. Because of the null detection method, the resistance offered by this potentiometer will be very high. That means when you are connecting the potentiometer for measuring voltage across this unknown resistor or standard resistor, it take minimum value of the current through this one. That means it is not going to disturb the circuit characteristics. That means when you are, let us say we are measuring the voltage across this unknown resistor, because whatever is the current passing through the standard resistor, same current, nearly same current will pass through the unknown resistor. So that's why the circuit is not changed. So similar is the case when you are measuring the voltage across the standard, this one standard resistor, the current through the unknown resistor should be same as the standard resistor. Then only we can take the ratio of them. So that's why potentiometer is used here. So, so that the accuracy will be very high. And where this method is used? This method is used particularly for the resistors whose carrying carrying capacity is more so that we can measure it easily using the potentiometer. So now we can tell the value of this Vs that means voltage drop across a standard resistor will be equal to I multiplied by S is the value of the standard resistor and the voltage that is dropping across this X the unknown value of the resistor will be equal to I multiplied by X you agree with me. So from this I can calculate the value of X divided by S. X divided by X is the ratio so I can multiply numerator and denominator with I so Ix divided by Is what is Ix Ix is nothing but Vx and I multiplied by S is nothing but Vs or from this I can tell the ratio X is equal to the value of the standard resistor multiplied by Vx divided by Vs so Vx is the voltage measured by the potentiometer across this unknown resistor and Vs is voltage measured by the potentiometer across this standard resistor getting it so using this I can easily calculate my unknown value of the 
resistor easily. That is the advantage of this method. So, here in order to get the better accuracy, a good potentiometer with the sensitive galvanometer is used so that the accuracy will be very high for this instrument. So, let us take one example so that this concept will be clear to you. In measurement of a resistance by potentiometer, the voltage drop across the resistor under test and across 0 0.05 ohm standard resistor R. 0.9 volts and 1.1 volts respectively determine the value of resistor under test you can see here the voltage drop across them is around 1 volt so one is 0.9 volts another one is 1.1 volt so in order to achieve this so we have to pass the current that current will be sensed by the summator this resistor will be varied in such a way that because we know roughly what is the rough value of the resistance it will be adjusted in such a way that the current will pass in such a way because approximately the voltage drop is around 1 volt. Exact value don't know that exact value we will calculate using these ratios. So, let us try to solve this one. So, here it is given the standard value of resistor is given by 0 0.05 ohms and the unknown value of the resistor is unknown. Voltage across the standard resistor is given as 0 0.9 volts and voltage across the unknown resistor is 1.1 volts. So, from this I can tell the ratio of x by s is equal to Vx divided by Vs or we can tell the value of x is equal to standard resistor multiplied by Vx divided by Vs. Agree with me? So, this will be equal to 0 0.05 times of voltage drop across the unknown resistor is 1.1, voltage drop across standard resistor is 0.9. So, this will be equal to 0 0.0611. So, in this way, we will measure the unknown value using potentiometer method. I hope the potentiometer method is completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.